I believe we're on the threshold of some profound changes to the nature of democracy and the ways that citizens interact with their governments. Because we have the new web, the Web 2.0, a global collaborative platform, and also because there's a new generation of young people that have grown up digital and interacting, the old model of democracy, which is one way focused on the politician and the government leader, and where citizens are basically inert, is not going to be acceptable. Couple in the victory of Obama, he was brought to power in large part by about 20 million young people who've grown up interacting, collaborating, and composing their own content. And if he stands up on Inauguration Day and says, that was really great, thanks a lot for electing me, now you go be passive for four years, and we'll do it all over again, that's not going to work. So here's what we should do. We should engage in about a dozen new approaches to, uh, to bring citizens into the body politic. I'll give you one example, the digital brainstorm. President Obama, in his first term, in his first quarter in office, should hold a discussion in America involving all Americans over a three-day period. The topic could be something like improving the economy or restoring America's uh, status in the world or eliminating global warming or solving the energy problem. And we now have technology that enables tens of millions of people to have a real conversation. The purpose here is not direct democracy. This is not the electronic town hall where you vote every night on the evening news. That's a bad idea. Democ democracy is a lot more than majority rule on a nightly basis. This is about engaging citizens so that we're all learning from each other, so that initiatives can be catalyzed and that citizens can become mobilized to bring about change. And given the kind of change that Obama wants to create in the United States, he's going to need an active citizenry to do that. What, what a wonderful time to make some big changes in the way that we govern ourselves.